Oh, for fuck's sake! Where is it? So, I'm bored, and you've been wandering around for like two days now. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Now would I? Is the surprise watching you run around until you die? Because, in all honesty, I've seen better. <clears throat> You know, normally I'd be excited for a surprise, but, uh, this, this is just painful to watch. Be patient, demon. I swear by my oath, you will not be disappointed. That's another thing. I can't believe you made a fucking oath. And here I was thinking you're a bastard, through and through. Well, I'm a bit more than a bastard now, aren't I? Or did you forget about the demon blood? Mm, true. But does that make you less of a bastard? Or more? That's a good question. I know not the answer. You know something funny? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Coming from you, anyway. You know, I don't know why you're choosing to resist my blood, Albus. It's not like I'd do anything to hurt you. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> nice try. I'm not falling for that again. Besides, I have people back home I'd like to protect from the likes of you. If you take me over, how can I be sure they'll be safe? You might go right back to them. <laughs> I see. You're right, of course. But I thought you were planning on seeing that she-priest bitch again anyway. No, no. I was never going to go back to her. Not after this. I refuse to do that. I wouldn't even know where to look. Huh. Ah, uh, come on! Just tell me where you're going. If you do, I can teleport you there. <laughs> well, you know. Yes, please! please. Anything, Anything to cure this boredom! Okay, okay. You want to speed this up? Then take me to that dead core hunter. The one we found after the bloodstorm. That place? Really? Did I stutter? <laughs> All right, hold on. <sighs> Finally, I'm here. Okay, so what now? Tell me, what do you know of Lord Elenus Mirio? I know a few things. Why? Do you know of the Mirio Massacre? Enlighten me. The Blade of Elenus was forged by Forge Master Dawn to be the ultimate sword, with an edge sharp enough to cut down even the immortal core hunters. In the hands of Lord Elenus Mirio, the Blade of Elenus would smite even the mightiest monsters. The essence of every monster killed with this mighty sword would be absorbed into the wielder's body, eventually consuming the mind forevermore. Only Elenus could resist the evils bestowed by the blade. And he accomplished this with sheer force of will. How do you know all this? It's part of Subdelta's history. They taught us everything, since they knew we wouldn't be telling anyone. Ugh, sob stories. In the time of the legends facing down the core hunters, Elenus made a request to his clan in the overworld. Ten thousand knights from Clan Mirio to continue the Holy Crusade to the core of Emprazil. But when those knights met with Elenus, they did not greet him as one of their own. They just stood there, answering only to his commands. Elenus was confused and growing more frustrated. Why wouldn't his clan talk to him? And then, he saw it. His blood brother had streaks of tears running down his face. Elenus confronted him. He begged him to say something, anything. But as he looked into his eyes, he knew. He was silently screaming, 
they all were. For these 10,000 knights were the first of Operation Subdelta. <laughs> the Alpha Test Pool. That's what they called them. Helenus was horrified. For decades, he'd fought tooth and nail to save this world and its people from the brink of collapse. To kill the monsters that threatened his family. Only to find out the very people he was protecting were monsters themselves. And then what happened? Well, wait, don't you know all this already? Oh, I know all this already. I'm just trying to tire you out. <laughs> Is that so? Well, try harder. I'm even more motivated now. Ah, shut up and tell me the rest. <laughs> well, Alanus, he, uh, he took his sword and he slaughtered his clan. All 10,000. He freed them from their shackles and remade them to fight by his side once more, strengthening his blade with the might of his clan. And he swore that one day he would make the triad pay for what they did. But he never got the chance. Of course, that's not the story of Alanus the Triad tells. Wait, is it Alanus or Alanus? Alanus, Alanus. I've heard some people say Alanus as well. It's all the same to me. Ten thousand. <laughs> there are ten thousand souls inside that blade. And they are angry. Devlin proved that to me. And he only nicked himself with the blade. Oh, speaking of... There it is. Okay, but you're gonna go crazy if you touch that thing, right? <laughs> so, how are you gonna kill me with it? That is why you're here, right? Who said I was going to kill you with it? Wait, really? Well, what else are we doing here, then? <laughs> well, you see, I imagine it's pretty easy to take over my body when there's only one lonely little soul inside of me. Uh, yeah, I guess. Exactly. Exactly. So... How do you handle 10,000? Wait, what? Don't tell me you're gonna- Stop! You fucking idiots! You still think I can't control you? Let's see if you're right! That's it, that's it. Come under my control. Guess you were right. That's not even my blood anymore. Even if you let go of that thing, I still couldn't possess you. You've cut me off. Well done, Albus. You're with your brethren again. <laughs> but there's a problem with that, my good bastard. With all those souls fighting for control, your mind is fucked. <laughs> And the rest of you, too. Wow. You couldn't even let go of that blade if you tried. So while I can't control you, I can still point you in the right direction. And besides, I think your new friends would love to pay the overworld a visit. What do you say? You wanna be a good boy? <coughs> then hear me and obey, obey your, your master. master. After, After all, a good, a good dog, dog knows its place. <laughs> Big sister? Are you okay? You look scared! Presents? For me? But it's not my birthday, Big sister. Hmm... Okay! I can never say no to presents. Whoa! A sweater! Did you make this, big sister? I knew it! <laughs> I love it! Thank you, big sister! You're the best! Hmm. What? Oh, no! I really do love it, big sister, but... I wanted to show Mr. Devlin. Where is he? 
He's really coming. Well, he's late. Am I gonna be so mad when I see him? I'll never forgive him. Well, okay. Maybe I will forgive him. But only if he's really nice to me. Like he's gonna have to buy me all the fluffles. We're gonna go buy food? Okay, I'll get ready too. Sister, sister, where are you? Mr. Devlin, you're here! Oh, thank the good gods above, you're both safe. I thought he'd found you. Who, Mr. Devlin? Sister, you don't know. Don't know what? I want to know. Karano, sweetheart, go to your room. I'll come get you when I'm ready, okay? Adult conversations. What? No, how do you... It doesn't matter. Just go and I'll be with you soon, okay? Hmm... Okay. A demon was sighted crossing the border into the overworld. It tore a massive hole in the wall and laid waste to craft home. Yes, I agree. This definitely sets back our plans to leave, but there's more. The news outlets have been showing footage of the demon. Look. You see that too, right? That demon. It's Albus. I don't know. I don't know how that's possible. My, my guess is that Kravitas might have something to do with it, but who knows? As soon as I saw this, I had to find you and Karano. I had to know you were both safe. We need to get you both to the bunker. Why? Sister, he's coming here. Everyone thinks he's wandering around aimlessly because he's not going after any major districts beyond Craft Home. They are wrong. I've mapped out his trail. He's coming straight here and no one knows it. I know, it's a lot to take in, but we don't have any time. If he's coming here, I don't know what he'll do when he arrives, but I want to be prepared for the worst. Are you with me? All right, let's go talk to Karano. She'll have a lot of questions, I'm sure. Hello, Karano. Hello, Mr. Devlin. Is it safe to come out now? Not yet. I need to talk to you about something. It's going to sound a little scary, but I need you to be brave. Can you do that? Oh, okay. There's someone coming here, Karano. Someone dangerous. And I'm worried that this person might try to hurt you or your big sister. Now, I'm going to talk with them, but if things don't work out, I need you to be there for your big sister, okay? Do whatever she says, and help her wherever she needs it. Do you understand? I understand, Mr. Devlin. Are you gonna be okay? I'll be okay, sweetheart. Now go with Big Sister, she'll take you to the bunker. Sister, one last thing. Before all of this happened, I was uncovering some secret operations carried out by different groups linked to the Triad. There's more to this than either of us realize. I haven't found anything on Sub-Delta, but never mind. I'll talk to you about it if we survive this. Good luck, sister. What did you say? What will I do if I can't reason with him? Well, if all else fails, I'll have to kill him. Yes, I hope it never comes to that either. Hello, brother. Can you hear me? We missed you a lot. What has happened to you, brother? Can you hear me? Wait, is that the blade of Arlenas? Why? When did you... You couldn't understand me even if you wanted to, could you? 
I understand that all too well. But if there's even one chance you can hear me in there, I want you to know. I protected her, brother. I protected her from the monsters. But I never thought you would be one of them. Brother. Albus. Please. Say something. <laughs> I suppose I should have expected that. Well, if that's all there is to say... <laughs> then I'll show you how I've kept her safe. <laughs> Mr. 
You don't know? We aren't gonna live like this all the time, are we? Okay, I'll be brief. I promise Mr. Devlin that will help you. Are you afraid, big sister? You are? Well, I'm sure everything will be okay. Yeah, in fact, I know it will be. Mr. Devlin can do anything. You're welcome, big sister. <laughs> This is what you feel, is it, Albus? <sighs> the heaving of your chest. <sighs> you feel your heart beating in your head. <sighs> the stiffness of your arms as you try to keep fighting. <sighs> it's everything I thought it would be like. <sighs> I can't stand it. Oh, but I suppose I was never much of a fighter to begin with. How was I? Yes, of course. Come on, then. I can keep going. For as long as you need me to. What the... <laughs> ah, uh, my leg... Uh, oh. <sighs> well, so much for that. I guess this is it. Go on, Albus. You win. I take your victory. I won't stop you. <laughs> but before you kill me, I just want you to know how proud I am to call you my brother. And I hope you're proud of me too. <sighs> Why are you just standing there? What are you... Sister! Mr. Devlin! Corrado, stay back! Sister, what are you doing? No, stop! Stay away from him! Ah. Hold on, Mr. Devlin! I'm no first aid! Sister, uh, the key! It's the sword, sister! The sword is possessing him! You have to make him let it go! I hope you know what you're doing, sister. Good luck.
Moment, Luis. There's so much noise in my head. I can't... I can't think. Oh. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Gotta make... Gotta make sense of this. Gotta... I can't... I can't... What was that? That voice. I know that voice. You know my name. How? How do you know my name? Don't I remember? I, uh... I think I do. I just... It's hard to think. I can't... They're all screaming. In my head. I don't know what they're saying. So angry. So angry. I can't even make out what their words... It... It all just comes out as yelling. What are they saying? What do they want from me? <sighs> but your voice... It's not yelling at me. Please, speak some more. I beg you. I need more. I need it. Such a beautiful voice. So kind. So gentle. So innocent. Faithful. It's you. Isn't it? Why are you here? You can't be near me. You can't. I might hurt you. What are you doing? No, stop! Don't look at me! I didn't want you to see me like this. Why are you here? I came to you. No, no, that... That's not right. I... I was trying to protect you. Protect you from, from me. Gravitas, he. He brought me back, but he was gonna possess me. I. I had to find the blade of Elenus. I figured it was the best way to free myself from. Where even am I? I'm in the overworld again. Why? Why am I. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Of course. That's why I'm here. I wanted to make them suffer. For what they did to me. To all of us. Lord Miriel. It wasn't our choice. We didn't ask to be controlled! We just wanted to help! We didn't want to be so scared. But why are you? Of course. You're on their side, aren't you? That's why you're here. You don't want to save me. You just want me to stop. For their sake. Well, I won't do it! They deserve everything I'm going to do to them! I bet you aren't even really here. You're just some illusion projected into my head. Oh, they've done that shit to me before. The Tryon. <laughs> That's what this is. You're not real. So leave me. Stop torturing me. Save your breath. You won't win this. You're still here, huh? You can prove you're really here. Is that so? How's that? My ring. Where did... 
never told anyone about that ring. Why do you have that? Answer me! The only thing of me you saved. Faithful. It really is you. Isn't it? Only you would do something so... Nice. For me. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Faithful. I didn't want you to see me like this. <laughs> what? You're happy to see me. <laughs> you don't have to lie to me. You're not lying? No, of course you're not. I should know you better than that. But why? Why are you happy to see me? You thought I was dead. You'd moved on. I wish I could have stayed dead. I wouldn't have ruined your lives. You have reason to celebrate now. Celebrate what? My birthday. What are you talking about? I don't have a birthday. You... found it. <laughs> I never knew my birthday. You really found it, didn't you? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Why am I crying again? <laughs> I swear, you're the only one who can break me like this. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my god. And then you make me laugh. How dare you make me smile after all that. <laughs> <sighs> you must think I'm weak. I mean, look at me. I can't do anything right. And now, I can't do anything at all. I'd say at least I can't do anything wrong, but, uh, well, look how well that turned out. Just let go. Faithful, I'm not in control. It's like the pain is forcing me to hold it tighter. Even if I could, I... I don't know what will happen. I might kill you. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Faithful. But it's impossible. Ow! Oh! Okay, you know, despite how much I missed you, I really didn't miss that. What? I'm not alone in this. But faithful, I might kill you. We've done the impossible before. <sighs> okay. I'll... I'll do my best. Thank you, faithful. Here goes. <laughs> Mr. Devlin! Look! Sister? What happened? What did you do? Watch out! What's he doing? He's... I think he's fighting it. He... he stopped. Cover your eyes, Karano! Ah! 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 Ah!
fucking kill me. Albus? Uh, Albus, are you all right? Wait, Albus? I don't know what that word means anymore. Oh, 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 oh. oh hey, my scars are back. I feel like there's poetry in there somewhere. Oh, hey, Faithful. Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, I missed you too. What? Oh, yeah. I still have my horns. Oh, call me crazy, but, uh,. I don't think that's all. Hold on. Ooh, that's better. What the... How did you do that? Don't know. Guess it's something left over from my possession. Your leg okay, by the way? It's fine. Does that mean it'll go away on its own? Your guess is as good as mine. Albus... York? Who's the brat? Wait. <laughs> don't tell me that's... Yeah, it is. The girl we saved. <laughs> Holy shit. How you doing, kiddo? Holy shit? Albus! What? What'd I say? Chrono, sweetheart. We don't say that word, okay? Oh, okay, Mr. Devlin. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go inside and play for a little while, sweetheart? I'll come join you shortly. You will? Okay. See you soon, Mr. Devlin. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Albus. Mr. Albus, <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> you fucker! Oh, language, Vinny. Don't you Vinny me! You don't get to be alive this whole time and get away with it! I wasn't alive. I did die. Kravitas brought me back. Said it was because there was a small piece of you that believed he could do it. So, he did. Eventually. Eventually? That's what he told me. But how okay, did- look, Dev! Look, I get that you have a million questions right now, but we don't have the time. And you know why. Oh, right. They're still coming for you, aren't they? To avenge Craft Home. We should go. Uh, where? Anywhere. You saw, I can teleport now. Not sure how I know this, but I'm pretty sure we can leave the planet too. Leave the planet? That's great, actually. The sister was going to do that anyway. Okay, the sister, but what about you? I... I can't. Not anymore. Sister, I was going to bring this up under different circumstances, but I can't go with you. On my last journey before I arrived here, I found damning evidence of the Triad conspiring to kill people in an attempt to create societal martyrs. What's worse is that I have a suspicion it goes much deeper than that. What I'm saying is... I can't leave. I can't just sit idly by and watch my home destroy itself. Not while I know I can bring the corruption of the Triad to light. I'm sorry for not telling you this sooner, but I couldn't find the right time to do so. Devlin, this path you're choosing to walk, it won't end well. Believe me, I know. But I also know I can't stop you, so I won't. It's a noble dream. It suits you, brother. Thank you. I was hoping you might want to stay too, sister. I know how strong your desire for justice is, and I'll do everything in my power to keep you and Karano safe. At least that was the plan, but now that Albus is back... I won't hold it against you if you want to be with him. Devlin, we both know she's better off We than are you. not doing this again, Albus! Okay, fine. If that's the way it is, then you've got to decide, Faithful. I won't push you one way or the other. You know I can't stay. And... I'd like it if you were with me, too. But it's up to you. Come with me, or stay with Devlin. It's your choice, Faithful. We won't judge you for whatever choice you make, sister, but I'm afraid you must choose. 